Hi, how are you today? This is Daniel Longoria coming to you again. And as I stand here today and I'm amongst this garden, this garden of stones, I want you to look around and I want you to see behind me all the heroes of bad times during wars. When I was in prison, I was surrounded by people that were seen as heroes by their neighborhood, heroes of bad times. And a lot of those people, when they pass away, it's not going to be as significant, as beautiful as this. This is a burial ground for people who fought for their country. Sometimes when you're involved with gangs, like I was, somewhere along the way, I really believe that when I passed away, they were going to build a statue in my hometown that said, this is for Daniel. In reality, the life that I was living, people like me, when we stay involved with gangs and we pass away, we don't end up in a beautiful place like this. We don't end up being recognized as heroes. You have to learn how to let the best of you run the rest of you. And you can't be stuck in an old mindset of thinking. As you look around me here today, you will see that there are buried treasures. And when you're involved with gangs and you're involved with substance abuse, what ends up happening is you will end up as a buried treasure, whether it's in a cemetery or whether it's in a prison like Alcatraz behind me. Alcatraz was full of buried treasures, men who were valuable, men who were a treasure to their family, people who had a potential, but they ended up becoming buried on a rock. And today the prisons are full of buried treasures. Another example of that is the cemetery around me. These heroic men that fought for our country and here they are buried. Valuable people that had courage and that had integrity and that they felt, you know what, it's worth risking my life so that my children, you know, a lot of these people, you look at the dates on their tombstones, it's from the 30s, the 40s, the 70s, you know, the First World War, the Second World War, the Vietnam War. And so people have been sacrificing themselves for people like me, people like you.
These people died so that we could have freedom here in the U.S. When you talk about allegiance, you talk about having an allegiance to something. And there's no better example than what's behind me. You can either have allegiance to crime and the homeboys and the gang and end up in prison, buried there, or you can have an allegiance to your country and be buried here as a hero. And even though you're a hero of bad times, like war, at least you're recognized, your family's taken care of, you're fighting for a cause, a cause you can see, which is the freedom for everybody else, your kids, your grandkids. For so many years, I was part of a gang and I was fighting for an invisible cause with no reward. There wasn't going to be a statue. There wasn't going to be a place to bury me with heroes. Most of the time, you would just end up on a cardboard poster trying to raise money in a car wash to just bury you. Sometimes just to burn you and put you in an urn cremated because your family can't afford to do anything else. Look, man, it's totally up to you what you want to do with your life. It really is. But understand that the world has too many buried treasures and you don't want to end up buried in prison or buried in a cemetery. And if you do end up buried in a cemetery, make sure that it's for being a hero, not a neighborhood hero, not a guy who put in work and you ended up being one of those people that were sacrificed for an invisible cause because there's no recognition and there's nothing for your family afterwards but remorse. Never forget, a bullet ruins two families. A bullet will ruin the family of the victim who dies, and a bullet will ruin the family of the guy who does the rest of his life in prison. One bullet can change two entire families. Never forget that. And never forget that, and that was one of the first times that I started understanding that I couldn't think myself in a better living, I had to start living myself in a better thinking.